Hey guys, welcome to the latest lecture of Stat Pro classes. Uh, so quite a lot of time we have this CAD models and we need to import them in order to analyze them in Stat. So Stat has a way of uh, how to import uh, the CAD models. So for that, first we need to go to geometry, then run structure wizard. Then from that, uh, we can go for import CAD models and then we go for scan DXF. So first, uh, what is DXF? Then generally our drawing files in AutoCAD, we save it as .dwg. But uh, in order to import them to stat, uh, we need to have that saved in terms of DXF. Actually, DXF, uh, by DXF, uh, say we have already this thing saved in DXF, this, uh, this small structure for demo. We have this in our uh, AutoCAD file. We'll be importing that. Fine. Uh, so run structure wizard. Double click on scan DXF, and then we have this text test DXF. Okay. Now we see we have imported this model directly into Stat. But you see one thing. Uh, this circle that we had here. Uh, just see this circle that we had has not been imported. So exactly this is the problem while importing from CAD we will not be able to import these things like circle uh, or uh, which are in the polyline segment. Uh, it becomes difficult to import those. Uh, see, this whole structure has been imported, but the circle has not been imported. So this, we can directly transfer model. Yes, then we see this thing. Okay, 000, just see, we have it. Uh, we have got this one uh, imported to our stat. Now the problem with this is uh, Though we can import it directly, but uh, At times what happens is that we have our uh, we draw first uh, our architectural point of view in AutoCAD and we have this brick walls around so brick wall, if there are brick walls Then we have a particular width if you try to import that then what happens is that there are two sorts of beams that get formed here so for avoiding that, what you need to do is that you need to make a center line model in AutoCAD first, then only you can import them and then your life becomes very easy. Means uh, earlier what you used to do is that uh, every time you have to just uh, give every length, the finding out the length of each node becomes difficult. So in place of this, we can directly import stuff from AutoCAD and then proceed with our design. So hope you like this lecture. Thank you.